Leo ningependa kuzungumzia financial mistake watu wao wanafanya after kisha manage ku raise 130,000 at end of the asset period. Unapata labda huu ni jamaa wa kibarua, anafanya tu kibarua, labda ni mtu mjengo la majiwa mali kibarua at the end of the day anapewa 1200 ama 1300 at the end of the day. So ana sacrifice labda na jinyima lunch na skip some lunch na jinyima raha na vitu kama hizo ana manage ku raise 130,000. So hiyo ni pesa naye kwa nao kwa mfuko sasa hivi. So anachukua hizo pesa anaenda mahali kununua mapikipiki, anachukua pikipiki, anaifanya yake na anaipeleka nyumbani. So kesho kutu ambayo siku nyingine akienda nyumbani kazi, anaamka asubuhi anachukua pikipiki yake, anapitia kwa petrol station, anakunywa mafuta, anaenda nayo kazi. Akifika kazi anaipark, haitumii in any way. Inakaa hapo idol, akishamaliza kazi jioni na kumbuka anaani the same same salary. Na asubuhi alipitia kwa petrol station na awali hapo anapitia. So kuna cost zinaongezeka hapa. Namba 2 utahitaji license kulipia hiyo pikipiki. Namba 3 utahitaji repairs because this is a man made uh, specific object na itahitaji repairing and such kind of a thing. So anakalia 130,000 yake, anairudisha nyumbani, anaenda na ipark, kesho ana repeat the cycle. So you find this individual he is married and he has a family and he has a wife. What if I get the 130,000 you go invest in a business assign your wife with the management of that specific business of course with you coaching her so that at least you can have another stream of income hiyo inamaanisha utakuwa na two streams of income gani na gani and you will go nafanya awali hiyo yako kibarua bado utaendelea nayo na hii yenye mume establish ambayo inajikuza ya biashara kidogo kidogo ile right there so that means you have two streams of income So a lot of people make this mistake na huwa hawajui they are shooting their foot and you find that this money uh, it is sort of a um, inactive capital it's a money that does not generate anything lakini kama unaichukua kwenda kuassign kwa boda boda business or something of so that will earn you at the end of the day at least the pkp can service it itself at the, uh, at the same time it can give you something out of it but if you just buy it for the sake of maybe you influence or peer pressure or something of such that is ill timed na it is not advisable and you're not supposed to do that it's always good to seek financial literacy na huwa naambia a lot of people this 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 case it's always good to seek what we call financial literacy you really need to have financial literacy uelewa wa kujua vile pesa huwa zinatumika vile unafaa ku invest na unafaa ku invest it's always good to consult us consult to watu wenye mnafikiria the same na wenye mnatembea na wao sometimes it's good to consult people who of higher level of higher understanding na vitu kama hizo right if you guys may need my services you can always all the time contact me and we can communicate about that anyway my name is joseph talk about finance and anything related to your money in your pocket how to invest and where to invest it right guys if you love that kind of a content don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel let's take it to the next level and don't forget to also like comment and share me out if you're in a position to see you in the next one goodbye